this is your deck height right here and what I'm wondering about with this setup that I have is usually the piston will come right to the top of this and not leave a little lip of course this is a different type of a cylinder I've never quite seen it do it that way because I will have to put a little gasket right down in here and that will raise the cylinder higher and leave a little bit more gap and when it leaves a little more bit more gap what it does is your compression isn't as it doesn't give you the biggest bang so this is kind of new and it's interesting so let's take a look at something else here um, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna aim this camera right down the right down the bunghole of this and I'm gonna give you a little bit of lesson on how this works or how I understand it works I believe firmly in, in two things we learn by doing not by watching videos not by reading about it but actually doing now we're at top dead center which means we're our pistons is at the very top right here okay now I'm gonna take my hand and I have got a uh, drive face right here to turn the crank and I'm turning it slowly right now as you can see to watch the piston go through its full rotation. Now remember what I said before on the other videos is that the piston should come down and stop at the bottom or base of the exhaust port which is at the bottom down here. Now we're not at um, BTW bottom or BD bottom dead center BDC Okay, we are at bottom dead center right there. That looks a little odd to me. Okay. Bottom dead center has a little tiny bit of it's a little bit lower it's going a little bit lower than it should or that I'm used to but I guess it's all right what it means what this means in uh, port timing which is a whole other story I'm not an expert at it I know the basics what it means is that when this goes to bottom dead center right here you see I'm trying to lift it up or move it down is that the piston is going to go a tiny bit lower than the, than the ports it doesn't have to do that but it is which means that it will give the cylinder a milli millisecond more time to let the exhaust gases escape it will also let the give a, a millisecond more to suck in a little bit more of a charge into these inlet ports which are right down here and of course all this will be raised very slightly when I put a gasket which I don't have with me a base gasket on and base gaskets come in all different sizes Let's see if we can look in here. I don't know if we can. I really should get some really fancy uh, photographic equipment, but the thing is when I build a motor, I like to go to my shop, turn on the lights, have a beer, and build a damn thing. I don't like to stop 
and spend an hour explaining one little thing, which I don't mind doing. It's just that it's it's hard when you love the motor and you want to you want to get it going. Of course, it's the middle of winter, so that's no big deal. And this is a new type of a, a cylinder head. And it's got an arrow pointed right here. Come on, go on. Then of course these are the these are the other parts that came with it. We have two inlets, I think. I can't remember how it goes. If the water goes one way or another. I asked VT and he told me and maybe an old I forgot. Alright. 